welcome to Joystick Justice League to a brand new show called Betamax. I'm one of your hosts, Mike Frisios. I'm Joe Martin. And this is a new show where we actually take a look at demos, betas, and works in progress to kind of give you the the scoop on what's what the big titles are going to be next. So actually, this one kind of fell into our laps. Yeah. This is from uh, W. RF Studios out of San Diego, they actually got in touch with us uh, wanting to see what we thought of their new demo, so we thought we'd basically design a new show about uh, this kind of stuff. So uh, we, we, let's, set, let's set this up game, let, let's set this game up for the audience, Joe. What have you seen so far from what we've played of Bloodlust Shadow Hunter? Uh, it's, a, it's basically a, it's a, an RPG kind of style kind of game, but uh, not set in your traditional kind of uh, fantasy kind of world, uh, this is uh, Vampires. Yeah, vampires. So it plays a lot like I would say, kind of Dark Souls meets you know Mass Effect or something. You've got story trees of dialogue, but it's also got that that heavy methodical kind of like slash and dodge and, and parry kind of yeah. uh, hardcore gameplay we were seeing from Dark Souls and the upcoming Deep Down and Bound by Flame. But again, like you're saying. Instead of going for like the tried and true medieval fantasy genre, we're getting into vampires and modern day. So really the premise of this game is that you play as a vampire and every enemy that you come across, you can actually suck their blood out like a vampire. And, and what you do is you kind of develop your bloodline over time. Yep. And as well with the you know the looting and clever dungeon design, what I really like about this game you'll see soon is is the graphics. Really, yep. really nice production design on this one. Actually. That's some really kind of cool kind of that uh, kind of Really kind of creepy, you know. It's really dark, and you have flashlights here lighting the way as you kind of go along. Yeah, very claustrophobic, you know. But at the same time, random bursts of color, you know, yeah. just, just again stressing kind of the modernity of this, yeah. neons, but also creepy, very very intricate dungeon design. You know, they're, yes. they're really going for some triple A aspirations on a very a very small team at WRF Studios working on this, what seems to be like a very big game. Yes, yeah. It's, very ambitious looking. So this is only on PC right now, so that's the thing, you know, I'm a console player mostly, I know you're a console player, so you gotta play this one with a keyboard and mouse. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that maybe down the line, if this if this game catches on, that maybe a, maybe a controller port or a patch will come in, but for now, I think Joe is the better of the two of us for traditional keyboard and mouse play, so Joe, I'm gonna let you go ahead with this. It's been a little while for me too, so bear with us. Yeah, so we're going to create a character right now. Uh, now let's, uh, before you actually create that character, let's look at some of the options that I have available. So right now you're obviously entering your name, and yeah. so let's finish doing that. But I want to see some of the different classes that this game has, some of the different customization options. So first you got, if you got your breed, so by default vampire, but I believe there's another breed, so you've got Dom here. I'm not too schooled on my vampire lingo. Um, I don't know if this is kind of like a female version. Oh, here we go. Half human and not as strong as full vampires. Yeah. Whereas vampires are, are, are full a lot stronger and uh, you know, they, they require blood a bit more often. But that's the thing. They're adverse to light, obviously, where I believe that the other, class, the other breed wouldn't. So you've got your gender options. You've got your class options. And I believe you can eventually look more. But right now you have warrior, witch, and criminal. Okay. So what are you going to... And, and I, I think the criminal's got like a... What's that? Like a, a crossbow? I'm not sure there. But uh, yeah, so different kind of weapons. I'm gonna go with the. Uh, You're gonna go with the warrior class vampire. Uh, we're starting off. We got a few stat points. Stat so I, points. So I can uh, choose where I want to go to. We got strength, dexterity, charisma, vitality, intelligence. Yeah, it seems like you're already pretty stacked for level one on strength. I don't know. You might want to boost your charisma. You know, and it kind of like that that Elder Scrolls element where you can actually you know yeah. talk characters into giving you discounts when you're at the merchants and doing yep. favors for you and thereby unlocking side quests, which I which I which I love about this. Yes. All right, so let's create our new character. Okay, let's check this out. So I don't I don't have the greatest gaming rig in the world. It's it's about a 500 meg graphics card AMD, but uh, even this uh, looks pretty very pretty on a standard. Office PC card. I can only imagine how detailed and nice this will look when I actually do upgrade my video card. Hopefully yeah. later this year. Very cinematic. You know, again, you can see very nice use of color with yeah. contrast with the darks and very vibrant reds and blues and greens. Yes, absolutely. This is something I never get old, uh, tired of either. So the, the movie style intro titles yes. suggesting that this is going to be an epic adventure. Yeah, I always like it when games do that. Secrets of the caverns await. Of 
good sound design too, like very yes. minimalist but uh, very fitting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is uh, again with su with such stiff competition in this genre coming out this this spring. I mean, like Dark Souls two, Deep Down, Bound by Flame, and uh, a few others. I mean, really, I think what what it's the vampire mythology, which is which is kind of in right now, isn't it? I, I'd say you know, like the vampire thing is, is really like the yep. big thing, yep. especially among the younger crowd, which could latch onto this. Yep. Your memory is probably very weak since it's been I think it's cool, you know, I, I like the fact that this developer is actually taking chances with story content, not not getting comfortable with the traditional fantasy tropes that we're always seeing over and over again. You know, I, just because you're a dungeon crawler doesn't mean you have to be stuck in a certain time period. I mean, you can take, you know, the, those game mechanics and apply them to any time period, which I like what, what they're doing here. Yeah, it's nice to change it up a little bit. Okay, so tutorial mode. And you know what? Let's go through the tutorial. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll give everybody kind of an idea. Now, this demo actually, you can play this as of now. All you have to do is go to www.lasthalfofdarkness.com forward slash bloodlust. So, Last Half of Darkness is the other game that uh, this developer has made. So, they've kind of tacked on the site for this game onto the end of that one. So, you can go there. Download the, this demo that we're playing right now for yourself before this goes retail. So yeah, right here in the courtyard is where you can really see uh, the really nice production design here. There's a lot of uh, a lot of different colors to suggest where you need to go and what's what's going on in a particular region. Good atmospheric effects with the lightning. I like, I like that. Welcome, so here's where you're gonna see one of those, you know, Mass Effect style you know, uh, narrative trees where uh, apparently we'll see your your responses have an effect on what happens. My name is Benar. I am the caretaker here in the ruins. How are you talking to me? You're not even opening your mouth. <laughs> Some people are a little confused. No. Quite so you're gonna go with the sarcastic uh, short road here. Perhaps. Any chance you need to know? Any chance you know what I need to know? Why what I need to do? Oh, so we got persuasion options, so yeah. you can see if your if your charm is high enough here. Also, you're gonna do her off the bat. You're gonna get to know this guy a little bit. Nope, Let his a, pot a little bit, you know, you're just, nope. gonna, you're just gonna flat out ask him, say, listen, it's what I fucking want, man. <laughs> let's give it up. This is the video game I own you. <laughs> let's go right for the Jedi mind trick. Right, let's do it. I see you quick using your power of persuasion. Ah, see? Yeah. See, the tutorial assumes that you're curious. I like yeah. that. I will grant you some reputations in my clan. Okay, so we have a clan system. That's cool. Swordstone. I can kind of foresee kind of a, a GTA 2 style, you know, diss this clan, respect this one, go back and forth, have the clans fight each other. The other cool thing I noticed about this, I'm not sure if this is standard, because again, I don't play a lot of PC games, but the fact that you can use the mouse, the scroll wheel on the mouse, to actually zoom in and out, uh, which gives you multiple perspectives on which to play this game. Yeah, you can go right back. Which is kind of nice. So it's go directly over. Go right over the shoulder. I like to play with it uh, a little bit back, so I can. Yeah, so you can see stuff in the foreground, right? That's that's the problem with with, with you know. I find if I'm too far in. Yeah, my, it's it's a little harder. Yeah, it's just a little too narrow. Yeah, and there's some real gorgeous details in the walls. Like you can tell they spent a lot of time on the textures, really, really making this this these ruins look unique and varied. Hey, look, Sleeping Beauty is finally awake. I like it. you got modern characters with like T-shirts yeah. and tattoos, you know. No, not really. But I did see you sleeping earlier when I took a peek inside the coffin. I'm mean, sorry, but I was searching for blood fragments, and that's usually what you find inside dead vampire coffins. I didn't find any, but I did notice a few items next to the coffin. I didn't touch them, but I was curious who left that weapon and flashlight for you. 
Yeah, it's a blood fragment. Oh, man. You must have been asleep a long time. Blood fragments are very, very valuable. Just be glad you didn't have one for me to steal, huh? <laughs> me and a few other guys have been uh, hired as excavators to find all the fragments in these ruins. I like this <laughs> Why are you standing if you're, if you're supposed to be evacuating, why are you standing here? <laughs> I'm just for those wolves to go away. One of them tore my leg. It's kind of a subtle job, and like, yeah, you know, those mechanics of, of traditional RPs, like, like, they, they basically just stand there and wait for you to talk to them. That's, that's kind of funny. This game's very self aware. I like that. Find a bag of jewels. How about bringing it back here, huh? Well, you're getting all persuasive, man. You're getting all yeah. flirty with these people, man. Let's see, it's a persuasive. I could just swing your big dick right from the front. small wine in your breath uh, boosted my motivated. motivated. Oh, time to get drunk with yeah, the other sure. with the other goths. Take it. It's probably attracting those wolves close to me anyway. Yeah, also, if you need any lockpicks or keys, you might want to find Sarah. Sarah does have that key. Set up a temporary she has a lockpick. But did she have a key that we were keys. looking for the first time we played this? Maybe possibly. Maybe. I have a feeling it's going to be hidden behind a wall. There's a secret door here, but you need the secret sight skill to see it open it. Help Machia and Machia and he will help you. Okay, so that, that's kind of nice how you have all of your special abilities mapped to the number buttons there. So here's where the vampire tropes come in. Now we can actually start differentiating this game away from your, your typical dungeon crawler into something very cool here. The fact that, again, you can, the, depending on what type of blood you suck from whatever type of victim is going to affect your makeup. And, and uh, yes, developer, great, op, great idea to go with the loot all button, which I think should be a standard yes. after Skyrim and you know, uh, Bioshock, and, and it's just uh, Borderlands. I think that's just something every game should have a loot hey, all button. Thank you. Did Sarah send you to check on me? She's a traitor for some of the excavators. She sent me to find some wolf fur about three hours ago. Then I got sidetracked looking for a secret to get here. Guess my secret sight skill is rusty since I cannot seem to make it work. I should probably talk to Nakia. If I remember correctly, he's pretty good with that skill. Nice. He's another excavator, probably looking for blood fragments and whatever else he can scrape up. The last time I saw him, he was in the courtyard area. I was just about to head over there to find some wolf. That's the other thing too, right? Like, I mean, a lot of these dungeon callers really are about, like, brute strength, being able to block, being able to dodge. This one's more about, it seems like it's going towards the mindfuck realm, like, yeah. where it's more about supernatural powers mm -hmm. that you can use to screw with your enemies. Like, yeah, I can persuade him to, to give me some points here. Nice. Sure, here's a few coins. But don't mention Whoa, yourself. She's it's probably upset about the fire. I guess you are, man. It's, uh... Alrighty. Oh, man. Oh, it's nice. Something's inside of there. Spiders and oh, oh, you're getting killed? Oh boy, here we go. Oh, this guy looks fucking mean. Oh boy, what do you do? Jump on the ceiling? Well, he says he's gotta come back later for me. Oh boy. Oh, cool, you can use drop the skill. Look at this dude, man. Vampire Golem. Yeah, keep doing what you just did. Yeah, because that didn't take any damage from what you just did right now. I think you have to stop him directly, or... Maybe this one requires a trap. Now you're taking a trap.
Okay, so now I think you got some. It's telling you you got something in your inventory. Press the I key. You might be able to equip something. What's that? Talon glyphs. Like, I ain't telling anywhere on the tree how to use click on glyphs and open. It'll probably give us a tutorial on that later. <coughs> We'll figure it out. Also, I noticed that you have new distribute points that you can do because you leveled up. I'm just trying to do that. Beware of some pressure, please activate traps. Ooh, oh, this dude. Oh, that's probably what you had to do. You had to you had to lure that golem oh, wow. into the fire. All right, so you got you, you got roasted. Okay. Yeah, I think you have to lure that golem to that, uh, that trap. Yeah. Where you, where you go? What's that mini map overlay? Press X to toggle on and off. Did we just add an overlay to the. Yes, we did. What do you need, Fledgling? How do we get out of here? Down with the statue of the ancients. The key is locked by no urges of key from the key. I can buy a key from her. Fire purchase the key. Okay, so good. I think we know what to do next. So we gotta find the girl. So she was behind that hidden wall, wasn't she? So you go hit the plate and that'll probably kill him. and then to the right. Coffee, horn rim wearing <coughs> Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan with her with her uh, This is not some local cross now. The titty cards sexually frustrated librarian look yeah, man. the ruins through an agreement with my group's leader. However, I am in need of some wolf fur. I probably shouldn't. 
but if you can find some fur, I might make an exception for you. Stuck Thank you. She speaks. You can find mm. a few blood wolves in the courtyard area. Come back when you have found some wolf fur, huh? How about we trade now? Not enough persuasion. No, you're not. You're not. You don't got the Mac yet Damn to it. deal with Sarah. You gotta get your fur. You gotta get some fur. Let's go back to here, I guess. The chicks, they always want something, huh? Yeah? Never give Can't up for free. Can't just give me what you want. Never give up for free. There's always got to be a pay price. This is a catch. Okay, so this, yeah, this shows you how the bloodline works. Sorry, vampires are now part of your family, can gain XP for you. Oh, that's sweet. So you have your, 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 yeah. your minions that kind of do your side quests. That's pretty cool. And there you go. I mean, you got to choose wisely who you bite. So it works. It, it's like those, it's like generational games like uh, Tokyo Jungle, where your breeding really uh, predicts the outcome of, of your yeah. play. That's kind of neat. Okay. Here we go. My lockpicks came in. Sweet. Good man, stuff jumps out of you. Some yeah. some really otherworldly sound effects. Nice. Oh, let's go ahead and do the arm disarm traps. Just, just loot. It pays off later. Really nice sense of atmosphere too, with just the ambient sound effects. Right now, you're hearing that crushing boulder yeah. sound. That just the wispy. We're having the singing nice surround sound system. Man. Yeah, you know, and, and that, for these games is a must. You know, yeah. where and sound is everything. You know, and being able to place a threat that's maybe creeping up behind you. Sleeping bums. Yeah, but biting a bum, like, <laughs> that's not really gonna help your bloodline, is it? Like, you need to bite nobility and. Well, that's cool, running tally of, uh, of what you've done, what you've accomplished.
feeling them in for real. Yeah, so here we go. Now we're getting, getting some misty caverns here. You know, something's gonna jump up in a second. Oh, there it is! Burn. Yeah, those of you with some uh, superior graphics cards are really probably gonna be in it for a treat here. I can see, like, there's just some nice effects here. I like how it breaks the percentage down of the dungeon that you've explored. That's that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That's that, oh, there's that, uh, that's, remember that one wall that we found? Yeah. Okay, so there's that, that's perfect. Spells. Now, do you have any spells yet that you can use, or any oh, type of magic abilities? There we go, okay, so you have a heal. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's all your numbered gaze. buttons, right? Oh, yeah. there's the gaze. Awesome, here we go. That's cool. Oh. That's oh, cool, man. so that's a good way of finding yeah, secrets. I'll try one soon at So you're doing that using the numbered buttons? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's number three, right? The demon's gaze? Yeah. Okay. Looks like it can what does that do? Allow you to go through walls or something? It looks like you can scout ahead. Playing your attack, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, really supernatural. Like, look, the stones are changing colors, you know? It's a yeah. uh, really supernatural production design here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, much more colorful than, than Dark Souls. Yes. I know it's coming. Oh, so it's kind of like the Castlevania effect, you know, your map's drawing out the more you explore. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's a massive, massive...
Alright, so. Let's see, we got more of it. Explored like 94% of it. I think you probably have to leave the dungeon now and go back. And... Ooh, that's a snake sticking on the wall. Nice. Wow, that's different. It looks like it's poisoned me. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. So I think I've explored it all. Or it says I still have six percent to go, but uh, I think I'm pretty well cleared the area. I'm just gonna find my way out. I think you get rid of that overlay with the X button if you have to get in your way. In this, it's yeah, keeps the adrenaline up. That's right. Spider legs. So I think that X is showing you where your objectives are, aren't they? Those yellow X's yes. on the map. So I'm wondering if maybe you should do the bag first and do it in order, right? So this is... Uh, That's it right there. She's bagged. Give that stone to this guy. Yeah, let's do that. Top of the statue. That H statue's behind a door that you had to put a stone in, right? Well, you can issue commands to Walter if you click on his icon. How may I serve you, sire? Okay. Oh, that's cool. Hold on, I've heard drink elixir is fine to separate. Yeah, let's make it a little bit more charismatic. And there's where you issue the command. Stop it for orders. I think you either hit that red button or the purple select command. Finally, come here. Well, that's neat. So art, so kind of like light, light RTS elements on the fly. Mm -hmm. Reminds me a little bit of the bureau. Fletchley, I can see you are a little confused now. Hmm. 
this page one of our other pages of things. Yeah, that's, that's about right. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, so get get now your uh, Walter to do it for you. Shoot vampire's gaze into the doorway, and then step off the plate by like before you trigger the lever. Interesting. Okay, so now you use your vampire's gaze. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Triggering the blood. Now you want to send your gaze in to do some work for you. That gives a hit. Ah. Oh, you did? That's cool. Nice. See, I was running when that was going to come to handy. Yeah. a knife into the chest. So it's that note. The sexual sly revealing the rest. That you won't do so don't even try the statue. You can tell when people are sly. Mm. So you probably have to buy a special knife from Sarah or something. You have a rusty dagger. And, oh, there it is. Knife. Okay, so... That's my main weapon. Try slicing the statue. Oops. actual read the note again I think it's referring to the chest of the statue maybe place a knife into, oh into the chest yeah the statue will slide revealing the rest dagger won't do so don't even try Icons up at the top. 
not sure what those are. Try to uh, beat this guy. I think he presses E to switch your mouse level or something. And then try clicking on that character stat. Oh, it's good. It's reminding you of stuff to spend. You have 10 oh, stat points. Okay. Did Maki give a hint as to where his bag might be? I don't think so. It's definitely uh, the kind of game that's really encouraging to, to explore. Absolutely, it's definitely yeah. Definitely not too, too linear, which I do like. Yeah, there's a, I think there's a bit more of an emphasis on puzzle solving than there is on yes. actual just slash and slash and loop. So, uh, so that's a little bit of Bloodlust Shadow Hunter, which is available now again. So from www.lasthalfofdarkness.com forward slash Bloodlust. This is hopefully going to retail soon. So yeah, something for a little bit something for everybody here. You know, for dungeon crawler fans, for vampire fans, for RPG fans. So, so what can you say about this? And where you see it going? Where you'd like to see this game go, Joe? It's a uh it's definitely a, a game that's that's going to require you to, to put some time into. It's not uh, a casual kind of experience uh, at all. It. Um, I, what, I, what, I, what, I do, what I do really like is it's very very, very atmospheric. Yeah, it, absolutely. It, if uh, if there was one one little minor minor little th thing that that uh, I, I would change a little bit is when we're, we're turning around, I, I noticed a little bit uh, that, that the lighting seemed to be. You know, th this game it, it's 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 still in beta. Was, exactly. I'm sure I'm sure these uh, I'm sure the, the testers and stuff are playing through some of this and and, and but so far I really really like the atmosphere of this game. I like the depth. Yes. I, I, there's just so much you can customize. There's a yep. lot of different skills that you can build up. Again, the, the blood lineage. That it's really interesting what you can do with that in terms of yeah. how every playing experience can be unique. I think there, if you're really into like the lore and the atmosphere, there's really a lot for you to, you know, not to make a pun, sink to your teeth into yeah, here. Exactly. Um, so yeah, so really exciting stuff. Again, just a, a small company that's making what seems to be like a triple A experience here that can really stand alike with a lot of the other dungeon uh, crawlers that are coming out to later this year. So that's been the first episode of Betamax. Uh, hopefully as we see this game go to retail, we can check on its progress and maybe even get an interview with the developers at some point in the future. So this has been a great first episode of a brand new show, Betamax. I'm Mike Frusios. Joe Martin. And stay tuned for more content on Joystick Justice League. Peace and game on, guys. Game on.